Yo, this is a 4 and Maniac, and I've had a recommendation of what the hell my quality settings are. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you. Alright, of course, first you go to capture, blah blah blah. Alright, you go to settings. Why oh, is my computer going so slow? Alright, presets are MPEG 1.5. DVD highest quality, highest quality DVD, of course. Uh, go to capture source. Video dazzle, audio dazzle, TV standard, NTSC, aspect ratio 16.9, capture preview off, no auto scene detection, project preferences, these two are checked, this is checked, make sure it's on widescreen, saturate, blah 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 blah. blah. Alright, video and audio preferences. Alright. Enable full resolution. Off. Enable hardware acceleration on. Main VGA monitor. Yeah. External none. Microphone master volume. Channel 16 bit mono. Sample rate 22.05 KHZ, whatever that is. CD drive E. Enable background rendering check and set codec automatically is checked. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, the other, I'm gonna show you how to render. And um, so yeah, all right. First, you go to file, render as. All right. All right. You could put. You have to put Windows Media Video V9. Then I use 8 MPBS because I don't know, I, I think that one's good. But this is the normal one 3 MP 3 MBPS video. So, yeah, you check save project markers and media, fi media file. Um, that's about it. That's what I use. So, yeah. And then in YouTube, wait, I'm uploading a video really quick. Let me open another YouTube page. By the way, subscribe to Gears Reactions. Just do it. Don't ask. Do it. Do it. Do it. Alright, you got an account. You go down. Video playback quality. Choose my video quality dynamic on the current connection speed. You you want to have this if you know your computer is kind of weird. It's kind of slow, but it's kind of fast. If you have a slow connection, just press this right here. But if you have a really fast connection, a T1 or a T3 or a really good one, like a brand new computer, you might want to put this. I have a fast connection. But I keep it on here because my computer is kind of gay, so yeah. Um, that's... That's about it. I don't know what else to show you how to render. Um, quality, quality, and quality. Okay, make movie in Studio Pinnacle 10 Quick Start, whatever. Alright, Windows Media, right here, of course. I tried MPEG 2, it, got, it has really, really, really good quality, but green things, like uh, the, the screen starts turning green and then back to normal, and then green and back to normal. So just leave it on Windows Media. Then here, unless you have, uh, unless you bought Studio 10 or Studio 12, that you could put all these HDs, just put um, high quality NTSC 5.1 surround. Um, yeah, that's about it. Then you just make your movie. Oh, by the way, when you have a 16:9 ratio widescreen, it's not gonna pop up widescreen on the on YouTube. The only way to do that is you have to render it, you have to publish it in a Windows Movie Maker. That's the only way that you're going to make it widescreen. It looks really good. If you could watch my 1v1 montage in a, on my page, it looks really nasty. It looks widescreen and it has really good quality. So after you're done publishing in Studio 10, you publish it here. And then you just upload it to YouTube and it's pretty good. But, um, but yeah. So yeah, that's about it.
again, subscribe. Um, you know, comment me on what I should make a tutorial on. I have my aim, XFYC, on X Maniac, and uh, yep, peace out. See you next time.